Hi there! In this short video I'll show you how to configure the CDI tester. But before as a reminder I will describe how a pickup works. For that I'm using this small uh, card cardboard engine. And first uh, here's a stator plate with a pickup fixed on it. The pickup coil, also called the VR, stands for variable reluctance. Here's one of uh, XT600. You'll see uh, two small magnets with a coil around them. The pickup is uh, fixed uh, somewhere before the TDC, that stands for top dead sounder. Uh, TDC is when the piston reaches higher position in the cylinder, like that. So, and over the stator is the flywheel, lined up uh, with the hand of the crankshaft, with a K to fix it. Uh, fixed on the crankshaft uh, is the connecting rod, then the piston. There is a small metal stripe on the circumference of the flywheel, the rotor. Some bikes uh, use two stripes, uh, but this tester simulates only one bar, one tabs, which are the most common. So the flywheel is spinning, and when the tab uh, when the tab reach the place where the pickup coil is, the pickup coil, the VR, um, puts out a positive wave. Like uh, if this wire is grounded, this one puts out a positive wave. And then the metal bar passed in front of the pickup coil and the VR doesn't produce uh, any signal. You have a zero volt. And finally, the bar moves uh, moves away from the pickup. At this moment, at this very moment, the piston reach the top dead center. And uh, when the bar moves away from the pickup coil, the coil produces a negative sign. If we cross the wires here, you've got the opposite, a negative first, uh, then a positive one. 